Okay, good morning, everyone. Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, sir. So my um my class this. My class this morning is uh, to present. Uh, so my task this morning is to present the uh, the uh, specific framework, uh, specific uh, model uh, of blended learning you know, as part of our um, response to the uh, to, uh, to respond to uh, response to uh, can you address now the pedagogical um, needs of our learners especially with, during after or after or during the uh, implementation of full online uh, classes during the pandemic so the presentation will be will be short no will, will be short and uh, i hope uh, after the presentation you can uh, raise questions and clarifications uh, this is actually the the model that, that we are that we are that i will be presenting to you um we will make use of it no? once we will be granted um uh, uh, the, we will be granted by Chen no, to conduct a limited face-to-face -face classes. Um, so at the end of this uh, session, no, the, uh, the participants will be able to familiar, uh, familiarize the no, online class as a model for the conduct of limited face-to-face -face classes. And then uh, the second one is to determine the distribution of online and on-site classes for courses with online learning activities or on-site learning activities. And then number three, identify the learning activities to uh, no, suggested learning activities to be conducted uh, on-site. Next, please. So uh, for for the sake of uh, simplicity and uh, for the and in, I hope I will I would not reduce no, the uh, and in, uh, the, the definition of blended learning. Uh, in this uh, in this uh, presentation, I define um, blended learning as the delivery of teaching and learning that integrates online and on-site learning activities. So uh, during the presentation of the of, of Sir Ted and uh, Mila Pladercino and Miss Alex, no, as you have seen, there are a lot of models and frameworks on blended learning. Okay, and of course there are competing definitions you know, and perspective of what blend, blended learning is all to be. But for the sake of this presentation this morning, we define blended learning as integration, a to and fro movement uh, in the uh, with a to and fro movement in conducting online and on-site uh, classes. Next. Ms. Alex, next slide, please. Okay. So for uh, um, as part of the uh, part of our discussion in the academics is that um, we will be adapting online class uh, as a model uh, in the delivery of blended learning. So what do we mean by online class? Online class primarily refers to the mode of the delivery of instruction you know, uh, online. Primary uh, refers to online no? or full online okay, as the uh, primary um, primary uh, mode of the del delivery of instruction. So in this semester, for instance, now there are actually we have so far one thousand two hundred eighty five courses that are being offered uh, this uh, this semester. And then 1,175 courses of which will be delivered full online. And there are 110, no? so far, undergraduate courses. Dilipa uh, appeal ang graduate courses, Ani, that there are 110 courses that will be delivered uh, with on-site learning activities. So that's around 92% of the courses this semester will be delivered full online. And 8% of that will have uh, we'll have on-site activities or learning activities. 
So for online class, no, we're referring actually to uh, where there are two senses when we, when we make use of the term online class. Online class because our primary still our primary primary mode of the delivery of instruction will be online, okay, and that there will be courses that will have blended no that will have canine and on-site activities, but the seventy to eighty percent of these uh, classes or activities will be delivered online. The remaining twenty to thirty percent of learning activities shall be uh, delivered uh, on-site. So as, as, as you can see, especially for the uh, for the undergraduate programs. So, so for one semester, we, we, we have uh, actually nine modules, no? three modules per, uh, per term. So three for prelim, no? three for midterm, and three for the finals. So um, based on our discussion, no? uh, the module one and two no? can be, uh, will be delivered no? online. And module three shall be uh, delivered uh, on site. Okay, or part of the module three will be delivered on site, especially those uh, parts uh, can uh, uh, evaluate and engage. Uh, parts ato ang module. Now, the explore part can be delivered online if the teacher wishes to, but it, it can also be delivered on site, not some module three, or the teacher actually as primary kanini ang designer of instruction can actually reconfigure module one, two, and three, no? Okay, in collaboration with the program head and the dean, no? um, to uh, to recalibrate modules one to three, no, and determine which activities should be delivered online and which activities should be uh, delivered on site. Okay, so for one module. No, one module, diba, ang equivalent nato for mo one module is the delivery of that one is around uh, five five hours. No, five hours. So for pre prelim, actually, we will be delivering uh, the uh, learning activities for 15 hours. Okay. With uh, For those courses that shall have on-site activities, module three, if if full, if module, if, if module three is delivered fully on-site, then it will have five to six hours or four to five hours depending on the, the design of the teachers you know, in the delivery of module three as i've said the explore part of module three can be delivered online and the remaining parts like the evaluation and the uh, engaged part or the enriched part uh, can be delivered on site okay so what are the suggested online uh, learning uh, on-site learning activities? One experiments, okay, small group discussion and collaboration. This is to foster a social connect connection between the students and students and teachers. Okay, so uh, and of course guided pra practice, okay, formal evaluation and feedback, practicum OJT and clinical internship. And other uh, that's other no? other related uh, learning activities. Okay, that is deemed necessary okay, to be delivered on site by the teacher in collaboration with and in discussion with the program head and or the the dean. So, what are the general guidelines? So, uh, one all we will be uh, releasing you no know, the office of the academics will be releasing the list of courses that will have on site uh, learning activities but of course i i i am i am pretty sure that some of the te some teachers especially those uh, courses are will be delivered on site were already informed by the dean and the program heads because the dean and program heads and members of the faculty have already submitted the courses that will have on-site learning activities. So, but um, the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Academics will be releasing the list of courses. Okay, once uh, we have, uh, we, we're just waiting for some programs to uh, to submit the courses. No? Uh, once we have that one, then we will release a document no? that will identify uh, that that will uh, um, that will have the courses that will have on-site learning activities, okay? 
Next, please. And on-site learning activity shall be scheduled at the fourth week of each month. Now, while synchronous and asynchronous by uh, by synchronous and asynchronous activities here, I am referring to online uh, online classes shall be conducted in the first to the third week of the month. Okay. Uh, there are also we will also release the schedule. You no, know? supposed to be we 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 will be having on-site classes if we are granted earlier. You no, know? or, or if we if we if we, if we if uh, the LG has already granted us a, 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 a go signal to conduct online classes, then we should uh, we uh, online class this 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 month, no, February. But since we are still working on our um, uh, on uh, on our um, physical facilities, no, retrofitting of our physical facilities, then. Uh, Perhaps we will have online or on-site learning activities by the end of March, April, and uh, and May. Okay, but for now we're we're prefer we're preparing we're, we are preparing our physical facilities and some of the students also have yet to submit uh, their uh, waiver. Uh, there are a lot of documents that needs to be uh, can any um. Um, collected, no, the field health number of the students uh, or of their canini uh, parents, no, um, their waiver, okay, and of course uh, all students uh, should that will participate in uh, in on-site learning activities should be uh, fully vaccinated. So those are the things that we are doing now, complying these documents, and once we we all. Uh, we, uh, we have the documents, we have those documents, then we will submit the uh, documents to the LGU. Once the LGU will uh, give us a, a, a warrant no, to, to conduct uh, classes, then we will conduct classes. Okay. And the third one, the third guideline is that no synchronous activities, meaning the teacher directed online activity shall be conducted at the fourth week of the month no? to give way for on site learning activities. And of course, the 35 minute teacher directed online acti activity per week no? for each four shall remain except in the fourth week. So, it's a schedule of on site learning activities, so only teacher directed activities both for the general education and special uh, uh, specialized ng mga courses, major courses. Okay. So in other words, if we will have full implementation of the limited face-to-face -face classes sa mga courses, uh, and the teacher-directed activities will, be, will only be in the first, second, and third week of the month. For the School of Graduate, Studi Graduate Studies, no? uh, they shall continue to deliver courses in five modules, no? eight hours per module. And one module upon consultation with the students shall be delivered on-site. Okay. But of course, uh, uh, we knew that there are students no? uh, who are residing or there, in fact, there are, there are, there are students no? who are, um, who are, who are Kanina, uh, overseas, no? okay, uh, and of course there are those students who are residing no? outside or far from Isamis Occidental, no? but if these students cannot att attend online classes or on-site classes, they shall be given opportunity to attend the class online or the teacher may, may opt no? to give the student alternative activity. It's for the graduate school. So why do we why do we design no why do we design uh, this one uh, one is that um, one is the, the the first reason is to address the as I've said the pedagogical gap no as highlighted by the CHED no and the OH, uh, joint memorandum circular uh, in 2021 actually they they have released uh, three memorandum circulars no the CHED and the UH have released three memorandum circular highlighting to uh, highlighting no, 
that there is a need to address the pedagogical gap, no? uh, especially for laboratory courses. And online plus, okay, online plus, or with the conduct of on-site learning activities, this is actually aimed to address no, that one. No? Okay, so that uh, so that is why primarily for the semester. Um, Courses that will offer on-site learning activities will be primarily uh, laboratory courses. Laboratory courses. Okay. And of course, the other one is that um, we're doing this one as, as an experimental model no, for post-pandemic classes. Later, Seguro, we will be expanding the list of courses no, or the programs or the colleges will We'll be expanding the list of courses that we'll have uh, on site learning activities. Okay. Let's see again. Next. Well, of course, uh, as I've said, no, that's our future direction. We will be expanding our the, the, the courses that we'll have uh, online, uh, on site learning activities. But perhaps during that time, uh, during that period, no, um, our consideration will be based on the strategic needs of the program and the uh, learning needs of the students. For now, uh, our, our kanini ang reason for doing this is practical and pragmatic. No? We aim to respond to the call no, uh, by CHED and no, to address the pedagogical gap, especially on uh, laboratory courses. But later, Siguro, uh, later, for example, the, 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 in the coming semester, no, first semester of the uh, academic year 2022-2023 for that year, uh, our primary consideration is based on the strategic, strategic needs of the programs, meaning each program, you know, uh, if they can identify you know, uh, learning activities that ought to be conducted on, uh, on site, okay, because these activities has a strategic impact on the realization of the competencies and the outcomes we desire for our students. So that would be all. No? Uh, I'm now open for your questions and clarifications. I think my mga questions si Ma'am Flor sa chat box ganiya. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Good morning. Ah, okay. You have already answered it, sir. <laughs> Some <laughs> courses. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we would we would appreciate it very much if we will also release the guidelines to us. Yes, yes, ma'am. Floor. Uh, we will be releasing the guideline okay. guidelines. No, while uh, 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 we will be releasing the guidelines once. We were able to uh, uh, get clearance no, from the uh, local government unit in the uh, and the uh, Commission on Higher Education. Oh, but there is the, one. The latest, is, the latest guidance actually says we just need to get the consent of the LGU. Once we have that one, it's de facto we can we can start uh, conducting on-site activities. Uh, my first question, the answer is uh, that was not answered. So, if we are going to meet on, if we will have on-site classes, how long would would it be per per course? That's that's one module, Mom floor, and one module is five hours. But of course, uh, it can be uh, reduced, especially if the explore part, if the teacher decides you now to deliver the explore part of the module uh, online. Then the, the, the teacher will only be conducting uh, activities for uh, evaluation or the engage or the enrich part of the module. But the whole module, if, 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 the, if, the, if the whole module is delivered on site, then it's today that's five hours. Five hours straight, you know, sir. <laughs> um, uh, the 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 decision, ma'am, whether it would be straight or it would be uh well. For how many days will be will depend on the the faculty in discussion with the program head and the dean. Because there might be conflict also in the schedule of classes. So I yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Celestiano. 
Good morning, sir, and good morning, everyone. Now, in connection with uh, what Ma'am Flor was asking, in terms of uh, number of hours, sir, uh, yeah, as Ma'am Flor said, there might be conflict. At the same time, uh, you were saying a while ago that Module 4 will only be for, uh, I don't know, for uh, the fourth week. Am I correct? The last week. So if we are, if all of us will be, I don't know, will be having face to face for uh, module three, um, will the one week be enough for the number of classes that we do have? Especially that you were saying that uh, it could probably be five hours. Uh, so far, for uh, so far for this semester, Mam Celestia, no, if we will do that one. Uh, the classes can accommodate actually the number of classrooms can accommodate and uh, and then the, the 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 deans and the program heads are already preparing a schedule for the conduct of on-site uh, for courses with on-site uh, learning activities to ensure that there will be no conflict of schedule but of course one of the uh, things that we consider there is that that is why there will be no teacher directed online activities during that week to give way for courses and that's that's 110 courses that should that will be delivered on site yes ma'am uh ma'am that's my good time good morning sir and everyone but, um, I, I will just ask that 45 hours you mentioned sa uh, online class like appeal but she has a six hours na exams ma'am ma ma that's um like include ba um sa 45 hours nga uh, online classes ba uh, katong kada module ba uh, 45 yeah. ah yes 45 minutes no uh 45 hours a semester sir di ba katong 45 yeah, hours yeah 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 uh, every every term na atay uh 15 15 Pero yeah. naman tayo 2 hours bitaw sir na uh, ang kani uh, exam. exam. Uh -huh. So minus na siya sir. <laughs> no no uh, no ma'am uh, no ma'am uh, the, the 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 2 hours exam is over and above the uh, the, the modules. Uh -huh. That we deliver. Uh -huh. thank, thank, uh, thank you sir. Ma'am Jo Hello, sir. Good morning. Yes, ma'am Jo. Hello. Okay. Now, my question with regards to F2F laboratory, sir. Uh, for the laboratory, we have the one unit and two units. So, we have the design that there are a laboratory time uh, for two hours and also the three hours maximum stay in the laboratory room. Now, we have already designed a few number of students, uh, maximum of 10 will stay in the SB206 and the students that are 20, a maximum of 20 would stay at the SB315. Mm -hmm. Now, since we have only two laboratory rooms, so there is no gap for the next schedule. So where is now the waiting, uh, I know, the students that, uh, the, the waiting area for the next students that would be a stay uh, performed on the SB315 and the SB206. The waiting area, Mom uh, Jo? Yes, sir. Since we do not have, I know, we do not have gap, my God. For example, we, we designed already uh, 8 to 10, then the next class would be 10 to 12. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So, of course, we would uh, no, uh, dismiss the class uh, 15 minutes, so there would be disinfection in the in the room. But where is the waiting area for the next class? Uh, I, yes, Mamweni? Yes, Good morning. Uh, probably we can discuss that concern, Ma'am Jo, in some other times in coordination with uh, the GSO and the VP admin. 
Okay, ma'am. Okay, uh, your schedule, my good ma'am, is not a regular schedule and like atong plain good nga three unit class. class yes, ma'am. Sige, ma'am. Uh, your concerns, ma'am, are noted. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, welcome. But our initial discussion is that ang katubitong, kung dili lang magulan, katubitong garden dito sa ubos, tapad sa chapel, ito ka gito. That, that was theater in the woods, no? Before, uh, shall be used for us as a waiting area. Tumagulan, sir, no class. We will find na lang another answer kay in case uh, magulan. Ah, uh, lagi in case magulan. Okay. Mandi. Thank you, sir Benji. Good morning, everyone. Uh, regarding the waiting or the queuing area, sir Bench, I suggest the deportivo kay. Nagay it, ano? Okay, ba ang deportivo? compared to theater in the woods near Shasa laboratory room um, my, uh, we will uh, we will discuss that one with the JSO okay murag na igipang butang ang JSO dito sa deporti, uh, deportivo karon nga time sige okay, thanks mantina okay are we good Siguro by mid semester no the um, the the academics in, in consultation with the faculty can can start no uh, the discussion on expanding the courses to be delivered, uh, expanding in courses to how uh, that will have on site activities no for the next semester yes ma'am floor Sir, will you also release a schedule of classes para no overlapping, no conflict, and also the venue? Yeah, yes, ma'am floor. Yes, ma'am floor. That's okay. part of the document, uh, ma'am floor. Okay, and thank I you, sir. specific dates and the, the assigned classroom for each uh, subject. Okay, one week, Ramanisha, sir, no? Yes, ma'am. One, one week only. Uh, that's four days. Actually, that's four days because we will not be... Uh, we, we will not be using the with the Wednesday, so Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Initially, the uh, part of the discussion is that the Monday will be used for the the Monday. You no, know, uh, Amanasa School will be the first year students, Tuesday, second year, uh, Thursday, third year, and uh, Friday, fourth year. But of course, uh, they uh, it might uh, we might have some changes on that uh, on that uh, on that plan based on the number of students no, that will be coming on the on the, on the campus but uh, the the deans now are preparing the, the the schedule of classes that will have on site uh, learning activities actually the mga deans nagsubmit mga deans nagsubmit na actually we ang conflict and answer sa gen ed drama no sa gara Wala na mga floor kay wala may teacher directed activities during that time. Yeah, mga lab classes they might have in conflict with other courses. Uh, yeah, yeah, try, try. We'll see. But but the ang ang atong deforced yung conflict is on their kanin yung uh, kanang na uh, uh, on their kanang gen ed schedules. But uh, for now, because most of the courses are that will be that will have on-site classes are katonga major courses, and according to the data that we have, you no know, first uh, third year and fourth year students uh, more or less they have three to four major courses. Mam Janet. Sir Ben, good morning. Good morning, Pudsaten. My question is, um, in the suggested topics of, I think, activities for the on-site, um, is it a fixed schedule that you will only give it during the Module 3, Module 6, and Module 9? Because um, as of now, there are new courses of the curriculum that uh, with no CPG yet. So we have to identify the activities to be given to our students, especially in the laboratory classes. So 
Uh, can that be flexible or not necessary that we're going to follow in that particular module? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Mom Jen. As I've said, uh, the 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 faculty, the teacher in in this uh, in collaboration with the program head and or the dean can actually uh, design you know, a module that will uh, identify the learning activities that will be delivered online and on site. So. The, the 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 modules actually katong tulo ka modules that that is coming from the perspective that teachers now okay are kanini ang have already prepared their modules no katong nine modules that is why para dili na kaya dako nga trabaho so uh, it was suggested that the module three will be delivered uh, kanini ang uh, on on site but of course if there's a need no, actually for example uh, there are activities in module 1 and module 2 no, supposed to be kung karon nga existing ang mga modules that needs to be to be delivered on site then the teacher can actually no is actually free no to reconfigure the delivery of the the delivery of learning activities but the, the, the end goal is actually to um, the end goal is to realize na the the competencies that we set for ourselves and for the students for for that for certain courses and for certain uh, for for the courses and for the programs that's our overall goal our ang uh, atong guiding principles that we can actually reconfigure engineer the the instructional design no? but the the reengineering there the reconfiguration there should um, and yang consideration primary consideration is that it is able to meet the uh, the uh, and deliver the required competencies and outcomes of the course or of the program thank you sir so is, yes <laughs> uh, thank you sir um for uh, that clarification um another one sir is what about the students who opted to offline learning their mood of um instruction and then yeah. how do we handle them yeah yes ma'am floor uh, yes ma'am jen yes ma'am janet uh if these students if online if the if these students no, opted to do online but if one or three courses are delivered uh, will have on-site classes then they need to come to school The okay, same, uh, the same yeah, but, uh, principle, uh, Mom Jeanette. So if one or two of the, the courses they enrolled will have on-site classes, then they will be going or they will be coming to the school for, the, for those courses. Whether offline or modular, sir? Ye yes, Mom Flora. Okay. Napa? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Actually, sir, we were giving an orientation to our IT students last week re with regards mm -hmm. to this uh, uh, limited face-to-face. -face. Now, one of the concern of the students was, uh, what about if in their level of uh, COVID cases will raise to three, and then in our province will be lower to level two will they be allowed then uh when they pass the border of course they are required now to submit ano ba yun, antigen within 48 hours who will shoulder the cost <laughs> things like that although i raised this to our dean but as of now i have no response yet you know? yeah the the conduct of limited face-to-face -face classes is under pretext that Na nata sa level two is and other 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 provinces also is in uh, is in level two. In cases sa iyo na na mam mam Jeanette, especially the students who are coming from other provinces nga taas ang ilang cases niya maglisod sa long travel and uh, and we we kaniyang we give kaniyang due considerations on that matters and I think the deans and the program heads and the faculty members um, can exercise prudential uh, kaniyang decisions. On that matter, no, either to to give the, the 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 student an alternative activity. So our primary consideration is that the health and safety of the students. That's part of it. No, uh, that's that's a that's non-negotiable. No, we will not raise the health and safety of the students uh, in lieu of uh, on-site uh, classes. Okay, that's non-negotiable. 
So we, if there, if it's possible to to have a alternative uh, activity, then that would be good. But of course, if 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 Misamis Occidental and the neighboring neighboring provinces where our students are coming from is on level two, then we expect no, we expect as a general guideline that students come to uh, to come come to the campus campus for on-site classes. Okay. So if wala na, dagang kaying salamat. Dagang kaying salamat. I think uh, we're good to have a break na siguro.